become the fount of every blessing. Tune my heart to sing thy praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing. Call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Come thou found, come thou king, come thou precious prince of peace. Hear your bride to you we sing. Come thou found of our blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So we'd like to welcome uh, again everyone who's watching uh, this uh, daily mass here at St. Mary's online. And um, yeah, so today we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and companions, martyrs. Okay, that's why we're, we're, we're wearing red here. And um, pr pray, pray for Uganda. You know, there's, there's, uh, um, uh, there's a lot of oppression going on there. And uh, so we just pray for the intercession of St. Charles Luanga, who's from U Uganda, um, you know, for, for the Christians there to really uh, persevere in their, in their faith. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant the, the field, which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. From Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed then of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. 
but it has, it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher, and for this reason, I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one who I have put my trust in, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day what I have entrusted to him. The word of the Lord. to the hand of their master. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy upon us. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will not die forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first married and, when he died, left no children. And the second married her and died, leaving no children. And the third likewise. None of the seven left children. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason you are wrong? that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are quite wrong. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So last week, uh, we were really preparing for Pentecost. Uh, here at the St. Mary's, we did like a, uh, a Pentecost tridium, or you could say a Pentecost trilogy. Okay, so we did a, a nine-day novena that started on May 22 and ended on May 30, May 30, which is a preparation for, for, for Pentecost. And then that night, um, 
we, we did a, uh, the Pentecost Vigil, and it was powerful. Uh, if, if, if you haven't uh, seen the Pentecost Vigil, um, you know, the, the, the praise and worship was really anointed. The, the, the speaker, you know, Father Roger, gave an excellent talk. And then um, the finale of that was uh, uh, the Pentecost uh, Mass, you know, Sunday Mass. And uh, Father Mark preached a very powerful homily. Uh, so I hope, you know, if you haven't watched it, you know, go, go to... Go, go to St. Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel and, uh, and, and see that Mass. So you could see that the, the Tridium, the Pentecost Tridium or the Pentecost Trilogy that we did. And I remember uh, listening to Father Roger's powerful talk and he was talking about, he using the analogy of a credit card. Uh, and, uh, and he said that, you know, the, the, the credit card, uh, it's a powerful, right? You could use it and uh, uh, there's, you know, uh, there's, there's a, a uh, you could use it and purchase whatever you want, but it's not going to be useful until you activate it. And, and it, it's true, right? You know, you're given this, this card, this credit card, but you have to call and to activate it so that it will, it, you will be able to, 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 to use it. And um, it, it reminds us of, of, of what we receive in baptism and confirmation. We receive the power of the Holy Spirit, but it's there. It, it, it's, 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 it's not activated. You know, that's why it, it has to be activated. You know, it could be through baptism of the Holy Spirit or whatever, right? And, uh, and it, it's very powerful. And, and we need to activate the Holy Spirit in our lives uh, every day. Uh, in, our, in our first reading today, St. Paul, Paul was, talk, was, was talking to St. Timothy. And, and Paul noticed there was a change in, in Timothy. Maybe he noticed that there was a loss of fervor, the loss of zeal, the loss of passion in, in, in Timothy. That's why he says this. For this reason, St. Paul was talking to Timothy, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Rekindle, you know, uh, kindle, we, 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 we need to make fire. And so we need to, you know, uh, I think the, um, what happened there is, 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 is Timothy was losing the fervor of his first love. You know, that's why Paul was uh, uh, reminding him to rekindle, you know, set it on fire again, uh, your, your love for God. And, and we need that, you know, all, all of us Christians, you know, uh, even priests, you know, we need to, to, to rekindle that fervor of our first love. You know, to, to rekindle, to activate the power of the Holy Spirit that we receive in baptism and confirmation. Because without the Holy Spirit, we're like walking dead. I don't know if you've seen that uh, TV series, Walking Dead. You know, we're like walking zombies. You know, no fire, no, no, no life. You know, so that, that's why we need to, to have that... Uh, power of the Holy Spirit. And the reason why we need to uh, rekindle and you, have, you, you need to have the, ask for that Holy Spirit in our lives every day is because we leak. And I remember I used this analogy that, you know, we're like driving uh, with tires and there's, there's a nail in the tires. So what will happen if, we're, if there's a nail in the tire? The air will slowly leak out. So what do you do? Well, you have two, two options. You continue driving until the air goes out completely and you really have a flat tire. Or you go to a, to a shop, you know, ask the person to, to take out the nail, patch it up, and then fill the air again. And that's what we need to do. That's why we need to repent from our sin. That's why we need to go to confession. That's like patching it up and asking the Holy Spirit to fill us up. That's what we need to do. You know, asking for the Holy Spirit is not just in baptism and Holy Spirit. Every day, we could do it. That's why I encourage you to do the novena to the Holy Spirit, not just in preparation for Pentecost, but do it every day. Do the novena to the Holy Spirit every day. You could, you could go and use the videos that we made here in, in, at St. Mary's. But if you don't have the one hour to, to, to do the novena every day, you could just pray the, the, the prayer to the novena to the Holy Spirit. Or if you really don't have the time, 
You could just say, come Holy Spirit, come by means by the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your most beloved spouse. You could just say that. You could even do an express novena. You know, 10, come Holy Spirit, come by means by, by that prayer. Do 10 of that. 9 is the novena, and then the 10th one is a thanksgiving to the blessings that you will receive. And I guarantee you, if you are asking for it, if you are thirsting for it, the Lord will give it to you. And if you remove any obstacles like sin, you know, you will receive the power. Okay? And when, when you receive the power for, of, of the Holy Spirit, it will transform your lives. People will see that fervor, that zeal, that passion in you. And we all need that. You know, all Christians, we all need that. We can't be walking zombies. We need the fire of the Holy Spirit in our lives. You know, that's why I, I, I really like, you know, when, whenever you watch uh, uh, the, the video of Father Mark Goring, you know, towards the end, it says what, what it says, you know, become fire, ignite lives. That's what you would do. When you receive the fire of the Holy Spirit, it will transform you and you will ignite lives. So how glorious is the peace and hope of resurrection. Let us pray with hearts set free from foolish doubt or hesitation because we believe in the promise of the one who rose again to eternal splendor. That the church may continually preach the good news of the resurrection and life to come. Let us pray to the Lord. That in our daily lives, we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do because they are God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the dead and for those who mourn their loss. May the resurrection of Jesus bring them hope and comfort in their grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Mark Lopato, for the son of Tanya Padellaro, offered by Helen Goletli. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of the living to whom all are in fact alive, grant the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 There must be more than this. O oh, breath of God, come breathe within. There must be more than this. Spirit of God, we wait for you. Fill us anew, we pray. Fill us anew, we pray. Consuming fire, fan into flame, a passion for your name, Spirit of God, fall in this place, Lord have your way, Lord have your way with us. Come like a rushing wind, clothe us with power from on high. Now set the captives free, leave us abandoned to your praise. 
Lord, let your glory fall. Lord, let your glory fall. Consuming fire, fan into flame. A passion for your name. Spirit of God, fall in the Lord, have your way, Lord, have your way with us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the, the, by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, uh, Charles Duanga and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Terence, our Bishop, Bishop uh, Marcel, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Charles and companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Consuming fire, fan into flame, a passion for your name, Spirit of God, fall in this place, Lord have your way, Lord have your way with us. 
There must be more than this. O oh, breath of God, come breathe within. There must be more than this. Spirit of God, we wait for you. Fill us anew, we pray. Fill us anew, we pray. Consuming fire, fan into flame. A passion for your name, Spirit of God. All in this place, Lord, have your way, Lord, have your way with us, consuming fire, fan into flame, a passion for your name. Spirit of God, fall in this place. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way with us. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trial steadfast in faith and in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I'd just like to make an announcement. This Saturday is going to be um, the fifth uh, anniversary of my ordination to the priesthood. And usually uh, I celebrate it with the people that I'm close to, but because of the social distancing and the lockdown, I won't be able to do that. So. Um, I would be so I would like to celebrate it with you. You know, if, if you want, uh, uh, you could join me on Saturday. I'll be celebrating the mass, uh, uh, and I'm going to offer that mass to Mary, our, our Blessed Mother. Uh, so that's nine o'clock a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time here through Saint Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel. And then after that, ten o'clock, uh, I'm going to do a live stream, uh, like a question and answer with Father Ken Lau. So. Uh, you, you could give your questions and then I, I'll try to answer three to five questions. So for you to get to know me and then for me to connect with you, and that's going to be through my uh, Father Ken Lau's YouTube channel. So that's 10 a.m., uh, 30 minutes to 10 a.m. to 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to uh, come and celebrate uh, with me, okay? Uh, and thanks again, Catherine, uh, Cesar, for, for helping out, of course, Deacon Marcus, and uh, welcome back again, Father Mark Goring. Uh, we miss your presence here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Saint Michael the, Archangel, the Archangel, defend us, defend in, us battle. in battle. Be our safeguard, be our safeguard against, against the wickedness and snares, and snares of the of devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And that our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Regina Celli, Laetare, Alleluia, Quia Merubisti Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexi, Sicut Dixi, Alleluia. <laughs>